Namaskar, I'm Holly Kastora, a senior certified Iyengar yoga teacher, and today we are practicing a preparation for Ordva Dhanurasana um, and Adamukha Vrikshasana um, using uh, the blocks slanted um, on the medium side. So um, I want you to see how I'm spreading my collarbones out and away from each other as I bring my um, uh, elbows and my wrists in towards the midline and I want to see that the center of my elbow if I if I drew a line from the center of my wrist up to the center of the elbow it would divide the elbow in half and then I would go up the bicep divide the bicep in half up into the um, center of the top of the upper arm so that means that the top of my upper arm can't be coming um, in towards the midline and up towards my ear it has to be moving laterally out to the side and down towards the floor as I swoop my palm in line with my um, upper arm, okay? And I'm going to turn my palm uh, to face forward and then even more, and I'm going to resist with the elbows. So I'm turning the elbows in from the outside in, from the back outside in, as I turn my um, fingers in. And again, I want the center of the um, wrists in line with the center of the elbows in line with the center of the tops of my upper arms, okay? And I want you to see how I'm lifting my um, lower spine up and away from the floor as I take the upper part of my spine, um, in my torso anyway, not my neck, but my thoracic spine, um, down and towards the floor. I keep spreading the collarbones out, so I'm pressing my hands into the blocks and like pulling them apart. It's as if I'm trying to pull the blocks apart, and as best as I can, I want to see that the wrists are, um, joints are perpendicular to the floor. Now watch, I'm gonna take my armpits, armpits from the top near my upper arms towards the bottom of the armpits, back towards um, the sides of my ribs, take the sides of my ribs back towards my waist, pull my waist back towards my hips, all while keeping my palms pressing into the blocks and pulling laterally out to the side. Okay, and then from here, I'm gonna lift my shins up and away from the floor. And I'm not going to let the um, clavicles or the tops of the scapula cinch in towards the midline. I'm pressing my finger prints and thumb prints strongly down as I press my wrist down. And then I'm going to, as I lift my, stretch my knees, I'm thinking, look, I want the bottom of the, or the top of the armpits to move to the bottom of the armpits, the bottom of the armpits to lift to the side ribs, the side ribs to lift to the waist, the waist to the lift to the hips, and then I'm gonna keep the hips lifting to the buttocks as I bring my heels down towards the floor. And as soon as the heels go down, I lift the, move the back of the elbows into the front of the elbows, spread the clavicles, and lift the back thighs up. Okay, so from here, we're going to come to full arm balance with that same feeling of um, spreading out across the top of the scapula that you had when your hands were turned in towards the midline. And also um, the um, back of the elbow moving to the front of the elbow and moving um, in the direction of the hands. Okay, so I'm gonna move this block to the side. So basically what we're doing is dividing the forearms in half, or the elbows in half. And then there's the um, top of the forearms which move down towards the wrists. So the forearms are moving from the elbows down towards the wrists. And the upper arms, while the forearms move down towards the wrists, the upper arms and the armpits and the hips lift up and away from the floor. So um, 
Uh, one of my teachers is Abhijatha Iyengar, and she said to us one time in Downward Dog, you're all in a hurry to open your chest and you don't lift your hips up first. So um, we want to see as we come into the Adho Mukha um, Svanasana, um, prior to coming into Adho Mukha Virasana, that the, it's not the opening of the chest that we're going for first, it's the lifting of the lower half of the torso up and away from the floor, and then that and the thighs up and away from the floor, and then, then the chest opens as if by magic, right? That's the magic of the practice. And then from here, I'm going to walk in until my um, shoulders, the top of, sorry, the top of my upper arms are um, over my wrists, and I'm gonna move my scapula away from the wall and up towards the ceiling as I kick up, okay? Now, from here, okay? I'm not gonna let my armpits move down towards the floor, I'm going to lift the bottom of my armpits up away from the top of my armpits and I don't stop there. I lift the side ribs up to the waist, the waist up towards the hips, and the outer hips up towards the outer edges of my feet. It's as if I'm dividing my forearms in half, I want the, or my elbows in half, I want the forearms to press down and the upper arms to lift up and then I move the back of the elbow joints in. And then I maintain all of that as I lower one leg and come to Uttanasana. And then the other leg and come to Uttanasana. Okay. Now for Vardhanasana. So I'm going to take these blocks and place them against the wall and there to keep the back of my elbow joint moving into the front of the elbow joint. Now, I want you to see how I'm turning my hands out to start with, and that's so that I can get um, the feeling that the, um, from the outer elbow to the outer armpit to the bottom of the scapula, all of this um, part of my embodiment is the outer edge is lifting up and away from the floor and the inner edge, right? So the um, inner edge of my scapula is moving down towards the floor actually. And my um, inner upper arm, my inner elbow and I'm pressing my wrist into the floor as well, okay? And then from here, if I can maintain that and turn my hands so that my fingers face my shoulders, fingers face the shoulders, and the wrists face, uh, fingers face the top of the shoulders and the um, uh, wrists and the heels of the hands are facing the block, then then I do that. Okay, now I walk my feet back. And again, from the um, outer elbow, right, to the outer upper arm, to the outer scapula, I'm lifting up and away from the floor, and then I'm going to lift my um, outer side body up, outer pelvis up, outer thighs from the hips to the knees up, and then lift my trunk up. Okay, now from here, I'm going to lift my heels, lift my back thighs, and walk in, okay? So I'm going to lift my head and bring my chin towards my chest to walk in, and I'm pulling my hips towards my knees as I lift them up and away from the floor, and I'm strongly pressing my fingerprints and my thumbprints down into the floor. Now, but from the outer knees to the outer elbows, I'm rolling up towards the ceiling, up towards the ceiling as I bring my inner heels down towards the floor. I have to lift the outer knees, outer thighs, outer hips, outer waist, outer side ribs, outer armpits, up and away from the floor. And then I walk back 
bend my elbows and come down. So repeat that several times and then we'll practice in our next video, Dwi Pada Vibrita Dandasa.